I currently work at Uber and uh, I was involved in a few projects there since I joined last October. And uh, these projects mostly evolve around uh, messaging, streaming and uh, uh, developer experience. Uh, my ma major project uh, was designing and uh, uh, leading a team of developers developing a new messaging system, uh, which is kind of similar by Semantic by Amazon's SQS. Uh, and uh, we are going to release it open source pretty soon. Uh, also, I was involved in uh, a few projects, including Apache, uh, in introducing Apache Flink uh, into our ecosystem, uh, and uh, we have need for uh, s uh, streaming system which ex provides exactly once in uh, Semantic. I was looking at, at uh, rep uh, and g creating the next generation of architecture for a system which uh, deals with uh, in incentives. So uh, incentives is pretty significant use case for Uber uh, because it's the way we bootstrap new marketplaces. And uh, currently, uh, this uh, and but uh, main requirement for that system that it uh, provides uh, absolute uh, guarantees that all data is uh, ca calculated correctly because it involves payments. So uh, it cannot be just it cannot lose single message. It cannot uh, double count something. And the current solution is based uh, around uh, databases and uh, triggers, and uh, it's not very uh, and it's pretty computationally intensive and uh, hard to program. So I stumbled upon uh, Apache Flink, which provides uh, very nice uh, guarantees around consistency, and uh, we, uh, our team was looking into using that for incentive use case, and right now we are looking into other use cases as well. Right, right now we are looking at uh, Flink. Uh, for uh, to calculate uh, various metrics of uh, driver behavior, and uh, but they are not like metrics for analytics because we already have pipelines which do that. But it's these are actually aggregates which are used for payments. So for us, Flink is exactly the solution which uh, can deal with uh, precise data, and that is where we find its strength is for us. Uh, for us, uh, for our use cases, it's very important uh, to maintain large. Uh, um, data for a long time because we get uh, uh, very late uh, arriving events and uh, uh, for that this, the simplest way is to keep every window around for weeks. Uh, to do that we need a, a, a step shorting mechanism which can deal with very large uh, data set but with this, uh, just small part of the data set being active. So that uh, means that we need uh, to be able to checkpoint into the external database, which Flink doesn't provide right now. So that is pretty significant uh, requirement. Also, we are certainly looking into the features which are being implemented, like dynamic repartitioning and all other f uh, fixes around uh, uh, robustness. Also, the very important uh, uh, feature for us is ability to upgrade pipelines. Uh, without losing data, because uh, as we have as much uh, that much data, we cannot just afford losing and recalculating that every time upgrade happens. So mo most obvious one is uh, obviously implement all uh, enterprise uh, level features, uh, so uh, make sure that pipelines can run uh, without uh, failures and losing data. Uh, also dynamic repartition and auto ba load balancing are important, and also being able to maintain large state. Also, I think Flink uh, misses uh, um, features for troubleshooting at runtime. Right now, every pipeline is practically black box and uh, at production. It's very, very hard, besides maybe uh, simple counters, to make sh uh, to understand what's going on. And uh, I th uh, the ability to query uh, state of the function is important, but I think we are far uh, from the b being able to introspect every pipeline at runtime and actually troubleshoot it. I think we need to make sure that uh, it's easier. Also, uh, features like uh, uh, my uh, SQL support is very, also very important because a lot of enterprise users are not programmers. I think most uh, important thing is uh, to understand that uh, Flink is a tool, and you wanna in your uh, kind of set of your tools, and you need to understand your use case end to end, and understand what Flink limitations are and uh, what it can provide. And it's a very powerful tool, but you actually need to understand your use case and map the use case to Flink and not try to force it in. And uh, most important is to understand what, what your data is. Are you allowed to lose your data? If, you are, if, you can, if it can be lost, how do you recalculate that? What your back, backfill strategy is? So practically, uh, just treat it as a tool and understand all, all possible scenarios and how it, it can solve your use case. But not, don't just blindly trust it and uh, jump in impl implementing uh, your applications without understanding of implications. Thank <laughs> you.